Hi guys, welcome back. So this is your friend Akash and today we will be talking about trade management. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of comment on our videos and we are receiving text to explain more on trade management. So our purpose here at Greenwolf and our high on trading is not to create the same content which is already there. We will be creating unique content related to Indian markets and specifically derivatives and in that section also options. So uh, for all basic questions and for the start, I will be guiding you guys to the resources which are already available. Other guys have done a really good job. So uh, we will not be posting anything which is already there and uh, we will tell you the whole process uh, in coming days and weeks that how you should start and how you can reduce your path of path of learning see over the year uh, what we have realized that we spend a great amount of time to learn to come to this level to become full-time trader and trade options for earning it took a lot of time but now we understand that this path can be reduced to a great extent if you know the right resources and pool up front because in the beginning we did not know where to start we were just uh, reading anything we were finding our hands on and watching any video on youtube but if you guys are aware of the right process where to start and what to look for which books to read this path can be reduced to a great extent as in my other videos i already explained you and guided you to mike's whiteboard you should watch that and if you are done with that and if you uh, are at little advanced level and a lot of guys have been asking me about trade management we will be posting videos on trade management related to indian companies as Arjun have already done that for Zeal and Ashok Leran, you guys should watch that. How do we manage our trade? But for now, for today, I will be guiding you to the resources already available where you can learn the art of management. You don't have to learn everything from your own mistake. See, our life is too short for that. Uh, so let's get started. But before we go to the resource, let's understand the importance. How how often you will be needing the skill of management. So I assume you know a little bit of about, about Delta. Uh, let me tell you how do I use Delta in my trading. So if we talk about Delta, let's suppose uh, if I'm shorting 16 Delta call, okay? What does it mean? We already know the basic meaning. Let's go to go on a different mean the way we look at the delta. It means there is a 16% chance that your option will close in the money. How much in the money? Uh, it doesn't tell you that. It only tells you that there is a 16% chance that the option will close in the money. So <clears throat> if you're short on, for example, uh, two. 2020 call in TCS. Okay. So this is, uh, let's see what is the delta there. Okay. Here it's open. Opstra. This is the website I've been talking about in all my videos. It's right now it's free. I don't think that it will be free forever. Uh, Raghu is doing a really great job. All right, 2020. So delta is almost 22 and here 2016 the call delta is 16 so let's go to our uh, where the fuck is there hmm. all right so 2016 so here the delta is 16 what does it mean it means there is 16 percent chance that it will close in the money now there is one another thing that is probability of touch probability of 
such. What is this? This is 2 into probability of being in the money. So when I say that I am shorting 60 delta call, which is 2060 call in TCS, it has 16% chance of being in the money, but it has 32% chance of being tested. It means that you will be tested throughout your trade. Oh, and what is the chance of that 32%? So the chance of being tested is much bigger than almost twice, exactly twice than of probability of being in the money. So when you are shorting 10 delta call or maybe 20 delta call or maybe put, you should be aware of a front that you will be tested and you should be ready like Arjun, not like Abhimanyu who did not know how to manage to get out of the chakra view. So you should be aware of front that you will be tested and you should be ready with all your tools at your disposal. And how, how we manage trades, there are so many ways to manage trade. Uh, because strategies are different. There are defined risk strategies, undefined risk strategies. So there are different, different tactics to do that. We will be explaining our management in upcoming videos. But uh, today I will just guide you to two legends, Tom and Tony. Uh, I will exactly tell you which videos to watch because Tasty Trade is a huge network. There are thousands, thousands of videos and in 2015 and 16, I was watching six to eight hours daily taste you trade. I mean, it's all free and you learn the great deal from the legends. But those will be on the scripts, US scripts, Apple and Amazon. But you at least you will get the idea that what are the old steps? What are the old options you have at your disposal? In the end, uh, you will have to do your own mistakes to learn the trade management, but at least you will, you will get the idea that how you should go about it. So let's go there. Uh, all right, let me guide you to the process. Tasty trade, a wonderful network. I mean, I don't know any trader who, any option trader who has not watched uh, Taste Your Trade. We all are learning from here. So I'm really thankful to this team. This, you see, there's so many shows available. You go to autonomy of a trade. So here, what these guys do, Tom and Tony, they discuss about their bad trades. We will also come up with our bad trades where we get stuck, where we had to book loss and uh, where we had to manage a lot of time to get her alive. Uh, all right. So you don't start from the last video. Rather you... By the way, every, every video is individual. I mean, one video doesn't have any link to another, but I always prefer to start from the beginning. Uh, what's, what is wrong with my network? Mm -hmm. Wolf. And if I say see all. So uh, as I suggested Mike's trade, uh, Mike's whiteboard in my another video, I suggested you to start from the very first video because Mike has explained uh, basics from there. Th that should be at page 40 in Mike's whiteboard. But here, these, this series is not that big. So you start, you start from Apple, then Blackberry, then Pandora. So here you will get the idea how do they roll the untested side, how often they roll it. For example, you go to Apple and why I'm going so deep, you will get the idea. See, here you can also look at the research slide. I'm not sure if you're not the member, you can look at it. It's completely free. Go join it and then you can look at the slides which they discuss and even you can download it. 
for, for the future references. Thomas, you're back, my friend. Uh, I am ready. All right. And before we finally go, let me give you one more good tip. So when we shot on a strangle, one SD strangle, okay, what is the chance of us making money? 68% I guess, all right. How come 16 delta call and 16 delta put, it's 32 minus 100. We'll discuss it in detail in some other video if you guys want. But for now, just understand there's a 60%, 68% chance that both of your options will expire worthless. But there's 64% chance that you will be tested. It's a big number. So you should be ready with all your managements up front before shorting a strangle. So it's very important to know all the techniques available to you for management, be it a rolling untested side or rolling a tested side or maybe buying cover sometime. <clears throat> so there can be so many ways. So I would suggest you guys to go and watch the autonomy of a trade uh, by Tony and Tom and you will be in much better position uh, to make profit on your options trading. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much guys for join, joining in and if you like the content, please like and consider to subscribe and share with your friends and if you did not like it or if you want us to improve on it, do let us know in your comment. Thank you very much and be a profitable trader. Thank you.